This lesson will be useful not only for absolute beginners who have learned how to open a blender, but also for pros because you will also learn a secret technique that will make your work much easier and save you a lot of time. In this lesson we will learn all the basic knowledge that will be necessary not only to create today's masterpiece, but also which will serve as a basis for you to create any 3D model, which will give you unlimited possibilities and creating masterpieces. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is open a Blender and create a new project. And congratulations, you have learned Blender. Just kidding, we have a lot of new things to learn. But let's start with the theory. The 3D world consists of three directions, of length, width and height, or X, Y and Z axis. In Blender we can notice them as red, green and blue lines. And you can also find out which axis you are on by looking here. In Blender, as in other programs, you can scale, rotate or move an object along the X, Y or Z axis. To scale an object, you must first select it by clicking on it and then press S. In order to rotate, press R key. In order to move, G key. And also, if you then press the X, Y or Z keys, you can do these three actions along a specific axis. Blender also has mods that you can choose here. And as you can see, there are a lot of them, but today we will analyze only two of them, the edit mode and the object mode, in which we are by default, and which allows us to select different objects and make changes that I mentioned earlier. As edit mode is intended for more detailed changes to the object. To go to the edit mode, we need to press tab. And in it, we have the opportunity to choose between changes to vertices, edges, or faces, which you can select using one, two, or three keys. And we can also rotate them, move them, and scale them. But in edit mode, there is another new action available, and this is extrusion. To extrude, you need to select the vertex corner or face and press the E key. So let's move on to how to rotate the camera and create objects. To see our object from different angles, you need to hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse. Or rotate the mouse wheel to zoom out or move closer to the object. But how to create an object? Everything is simple here. To do this, we press Shift plus A and here we can select a different set of things that we can create from standard shapes to Shazen. You can play with it and find out where everything is. And now the trick I promised at the beginning. And now a question for the experts. Did you know that in edit mode you can simultaneously select vertices, edges and faces without switching between them every time and without using the annoying menu or keys? Well, this is possible. And to do this, let's go to the edit mode. And with holding shift, select, for example, vertices and corners in this menu. And now we can select both. You can even not waste time and select everything at once to save a lot of time and save your fingers from hard work labor. In this lesson, we learned all the basic knowledge that is useful for creating a 3D model and also learned a secret that will make your work much easier and save you a lot of time when changing an object. And in the next lesson we will apply the knowledge gains and create all necessary objects for animation. And see you in the next lesson.